Some turret gunners, even back in 2003, didn't even have armor to protect them. Then someone thought it was a good idea to put at least one plate in front of the gunner so he's a little protected. And then the turret started to get really heavy and top heavy for pretty much every military vehicle ever. But you can see there are windows placed around the turret and this gave a little more visibility for the gunner. Turret gunners are some of the most exposed people in combat to the elements, so especially in Afghanistan when you're fighting in the mountains, it wasn't uncommon for some turret gunners to create or to get packages that covered their head from incoming attacks from on top of mountains. And then the turret gunner got all robotic and this is the crow system. Now, in theory, it's really cool to be able to scan around, not be exposed, but the issue is the turret gunner is another element within the vehicle. They are seeing, they are smelling, they are reporting to you what's going on and you just lose out on that when you use a robotic crow gunner.